Recently, NASA published a video of a concept design of a space submarine designed <laughs> to explore uh, Kraken Mare, the largest known sea on Titan, mm -hmm. a methane sea. Let's take a quick look. mission is not for people no. because we would not do well in a methane sea. Mm -hmm. uh, I can hold my breath for a while. Yeah, I think I'd be okay. I'd be dead. <laughs> uh, so this is meant for a drone, uh, nuclear powered, much like mo most of the rovers that we have on, on Mars mm -hmm. and other places. A single ton robotic submarine equipped with a seafloor camera and sampling system, as it showed in the video, uh, to find different uh, samples. Yeah. I, I Look, I think that in the event that a supervillain sets up a base in Kraken Mare, then this is how James Bond will be able to infiltrate it, which will be useful. And it's also technically useful for scientists, I guess, to get actual samples and footage. And that would be cool. Um, I think that from a space geek's point of view, meh. What do you mean, meh? Like, if you're gonna, like, I, there's a lot of stuff I would like to see in our uh, our solar system. You I don't know if the submarine? inside of a methane, like, I could, I could go to, like, a... I don't know, a pig farm and check out a methane sea I there disagree. if I wanted to. D dump my head Titan, in if I wanted to. Titan is a very promising uh, Yes, Titan's area. very cool. I'm I'm being I'm being ridiculous. It's, but Okay, well it's a it's a large planet with liquid methane and it's mm -hmm. besides Earth, it's one of the few places that has uh, liquid on the surface that yes. we are aware of. And that could be lead to many discoveries of how did it get there? Mm -hmm. What did this planet's environment used to look like? What is the future? What is going on? We could learn so much about... <laughs> could we swim our... here? No, we could not. Yeah. And we could look, not swim I'm, in methane. I'm glad that they still have the resources to launch these missions, especially to moons, because we know that um, the, the odds of us setting up some sort of sustainable... I guess, community somewhere else in the solar system is more mm -hmm. likely on some of the moons of Saturn or Jupiter, for instance, than it is on a lot of the actual planets. Well, we also have Europa, mm -hmm. which is a much sooner mission than this, which is scheduled yeah. for 2047. Yeah. Uh, we discovered uh, Kraken Mare in 2007, so mm -hmm. it's almost 50 years after that discovery. Yeah, it took him eight years to make that animation. I could have helped him no, out. No, it's, it's I know, more I know than an animation. Stuff. Yeah. It's no, more so, than that. I, and I will say, as cool as the mission is, and I'm sure that they will learn a lot, and, and it might be that it's it's the sort of data that you need to gather before you can launch some sort of manned mission in 2250 or something, but from the point of view of someone who grew up watching Star Trek and Star Wars, it's it's depressing the, this, the pace at which our like ex extraterrestrial like missions are going like to find out that a mission is launching in decades it's like i don't have the sort of diet required to live until when i can travel in space and you're waiting decades Wait. and i know you have to because that's when things line up so that it doesn't require more power to actually get there i get that but like come on man in Star Trek, they'd already gone through like three interstellar wars in that time period. I think we have a great luxury in getting to know that this will happen. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, science fiction sometimes isn't always science fiction. Yeah. Including submarines straight from Jules Verne. Yeah, that's true. Which is quite old. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and look, we're lucky that we made it through a major recession and we still have at least enough resources to be running these sorts of, of missions and, mm -hmm. and operations, which... I mean, if you had a slightly different sort of philosophical bent to your government, that might be the sort of thing that would be cut first. And that would be really disappointing because I think that these missions are important not just for the data that they gather, but they keep the next generation thinking about this is something that we should continue to be working towards and exploring. And I think that that's worth more than the money that goes into the missions. Well, I agree. I think it's very short-sighted to be yeah. like, well, we don't need this and we're not learning and we're not developing innovations that are helping us on Earth constantly, which is what NASA is doing BT dubs. <laughs> Sorry, I said BT dubs. Let us know what you think of this uh, this concept, space submarine, below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.